So I'm going to push this out to the board gaming community. We're going to talk about game design for a second and a question that I've been thinking about. So certainly I have a number of favorite authors and I've never created a board game. I'm happy to be a player on there. But being a player, being a war gamer, being a role-playing gamer and involved in the community, I understand it's about the narrative. I understand it's about sitting down out of this crazy thing called life full of responsibilities and obligations, school, work, family, all that type of stuff, carving out a little time to sit down with friends and regardless of whatever the game format is, whether it's um, Ameritrash or Euro or worker placement, whatever it's going to be for you and the group, it's about creating a narrative. It's about creating something in that moment so you can create some memories. You can have a good time with actual people present that goes beyond this, this digital wasteland that we exist in on there. So more and more, not only as game theory has advanced, but just as, as time, tabletop, face-to-face time, and that's not to say virtual doesn't have its place in things, getting the most out of it, I have to wonder... Game engagement, anytime there's a game that there's an action and I miss my turn, you know, you you draw a card and it's like, you're delayed, miss your next turn, or the quest was really challenging, miss your next turn, Uh, that's so 80s, that's so like, like, that's just breaks the narrative, any type of game where every player is not engaged every single turn, whatever that action turn is, um, more and more I'm, I'm looking and thinking like, and maybe I am being a little critical. I'll, I'll admit that. I mean, no disrespect. I know you pour your heart and love into it, but the way games have evolved and the tech that's out there and the narratives, that that's your best. You're, you're killing the narrative. A, a player should never artificially be kicked out of the game decision process. Now, based on previous actions or based on uh, the strategy of the moment or maybe an exhaust, that's not to say that... I take all of my actions every turn, or that's not to say that maybe I don't have every available action. There's some plus and minus action in there, but to blatantly lose a turn, that breaks the narrative, and now I'm sitting doing nothing. That's Everyone should be participating in some capacity in decision-making process every single turn, and that applies if it's a one versus many, you know, overlord versus heroes. That applies if it's head-to-head. That applies if it's a cooperative on there. And uh, when I look at some of the games from the 80s, uh, I love Talisman. I love for what it is. I realize that is a little bit of kind of looking in the past, again, socially playing with my friends. But it is very dated. You guys know I'm a Talisman fanboy on there, so it's hard to even say this, but I can admit it. There are cards where it's like, you're lost in the maze, miss a turn. I understand it's a race game. And there's mechanics there, but that that's 80s tech. That's 80s tech. Miss a turn. Like, what? Why do we still... I can forgive Talisman because it's it's lost in that e- area. But games coming out now, you miss a turn, you're breaking the narrative. That still passes for good game design. Your thoughts on that? And I know it's really easy for me to say it because my name is, is not on any box. Although I am on the Ogre... Um, collector's edition the big box from there i'm on that as a supporter but i've never designed or created anything but being involved in all three communities i I feel like expressing that opinion i would like to see game designers continue to build on the amazing principles that they've put out there and don't have something where you artificially take a player out either to balance bad game design or just like hey we need to fill in some sort of action okay miss a turn Like, let's keep the players in, let's keep the decision process in, let's keep that narrative in, and for that time where we're sitting around the table playing, whether it's an hour, two hours, an afternoon, 100% everyone is playing.